Hello everybody, my name is Chef Mo. Today I will show you how to make the hummus. Hummus is very famous and people love people looking for how to make it the right recipe. So today I will show you my recipe. This is the standard one. It's not something new, something I added, just this is standard, standard hummus. So first I use uh, from two to two, two and a half pound hummus, chickpeas dry, okay? So you need to soak it in the water at least, at least 24 hours. To, to see the this is the show the way how it should be okay ready just to boil it and cook it okay so for hummus we use always the sesame seed okay tahini sauce carbonata this is the carbon just oil. and lemon you can use fresh lemon if you want or can use so, so normal uh, canned and salt this is the only things we use for hummus Ensure the processor. The processor should be have the high speed processor to bring uh, the hummus. Okay, so first step, I soak this for 24 hours. Remember that. Now the second step, I wash it. Okay, let me just wash it with water. To be sure it's washed good. So Tip. We need to cook the hummus. The way how I cook it, I will show you for the next step. So we use pepper like this. Okay, and we use the hummus. Try to keep it water like. This is the good amount for water, and we use the stove. And at least you want to keep it for for 30 to 45 minutes. And you, during the cooking, you can add just like half spoon of carbonata. But this is like after 20 minutes you will start cooking. This is to make it easy to cook and faster. So this is the only things. This is the process for cooking. The next stop, I will need to cool it in the cooler a little bit. After that, we use the processor. Thank you very much. Let's go. So okay, after like 20 minutes, this foam, the white foam, we should take out slowly before we put the carbonata, the baking baking soda. You can see it. Okay, this is the way how this boil it for now. And we add like one spoon, teaspoon of carbonata, just to make it quickly cook. If you can see now, it's starting cooking faster. The curb, the baking soda is help to cook the beans faster. But during the cooking, you should start with always that's just moving the foam coming from the hummus and we keep it also more 25 minutes more. Okay, after we cooking the carbanzo, now you can see it's very mushy, ready to go. So <clears throat> we use the processor to blend the carbanzo. We will use uh, olive oil and uh, lemon juice, salt, paprika for decoration, and very important, the ice, the ice ice just to just to keep it cool and coming more white so we'll use first the sesame seed like at least from uh, six to seven spoon like tablespoon we add it to the chickpeas or carbanzo this is usually like seven tablespoon okay and also we will use the lemon juice from three to four spoons, tablespoon. Okay, so we will use some salt. I will use like one tablespoon. And 
and we start blending a little bit before we add the ice. So if you can see, it's hard a little bit. So we start adding some water just to keep it smooth. And we start adding the ice. We need at least like 10 to 15 minutes to blend with the ice to make it creamy. So we will use the paprika for garnish. And we we'll use the hummus paste that is the banjo hummus. So ready to go. The more you blend it, the more you can and if you look the colors can be more white the good hummus should be white not brown some of hummus you make it brown you don't add sesame seeds but no this is with ice and sesame seeds you become more white and faint so this is enough now well, almost like from 10 to 15 minutes blend and now we start using the hummus. Okay. So we can use spoon for garnish. We can garnish the food. some chick peels so we add some olive oil This is our hummus and voila, voila. <laughs>